we are live. I've decided to do an amazing belt video where I can teach you how to belt. I've been getting these questions a lot from people and belting is basically that type of singing where you are extending your chest voice up to where it normally um, doesn't you know, feel comfortable going and you extend it to the point where it sounds like you're yelling. So um, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. This takes time and you need the right teacher to do it. But um, a lot of the times we sing from our throats and we get sore and it like doesn't feel good. And um, people are like, how can you belt healthily? So I have decided to work on this today. So I'm sure a lot of you have been seeing um, my video that I just posted on Instagram with my yawning technique, my yawn yell. And I'm gonna go into that today. But um, I'm just really excited. So if you guys have any questions, just put it into the chat um, and we're gonna get started. So how to belt. First of all, if it doesn't feel good, stop, right? If you are ever pushing or any of that, or like after a singing lesson, if you're ever sore, right? Or you have a sore throat, no, 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 right? You don't wanna ever do that. A lot of the time people think that that's normal, but it's not, and they keep doing it, and that's how you end up like, you know, Adele or Megan Trainor or Demi Lovato, who have all had vocal surgeries. I think Adele has had three, right? So you always wanna listen to your body. If it hurts, it's wrong, so just don't do that. All right, well, let's get started. So first of all, belting, you want to be extremely comfortable in your body. So to do that, I'm going to stand. I know lighting is not ideal right here, but I'm gonna stand, and I want you to, do some squats. I know some of you have maybe seen this before, but I am, you know how you see performers on stage and they're like, like that? See, I'm like squatting into it. So what I'm doing when I squat is I'm putting the tension into my thighs, into my butt, right? <laughs> and so a lot of the time tension gets stuck up here. Instead, you wanna move the tension to your body. Sometimes you'll see Ariana Grande go like that, like. Huh. or like that, or just even like that, or sometimes opera singers will squeeze their butt to hit the high note. So that's what um, we're gonna do first. We're gonna use our body. We're gonna place attention into our body. So when we belt, I want you to do some squats. So um, let's see, where do I wanna start? I just decided to make this video, I didn't plan it. Um, uh, let's do some squats. So first, I want you guys to do, can you go like this, go, ah. So we're gonna make an ugly witch sound. Can you go, ah. So if you've seen any of my videos, you will realize, you heard me say that to belt, to sing really high, you cannot just have a chest and head voice, right? You have to have a middle voice. And for most of you, for everybody in the beginning, nobody has a middle voice. Everybody has either a chest or a head and it takes about two to three years to grow this middle voice, right? So if you don't have a middle voice, it's gonna be hard at first, but you just gotta put in the work, you have gotta find a good teacher. It's really hard to do it on your own, you can try, but all right, so right now we're gonna try this, it might be in your throat and go ah, right? And if that happens, totally fine, normal. But try and kinda ah, <laughs> right? Like right there, right in that spot. It's kinda like that juicy dying cat sound. Place it there, because this part of your face is 600 times more powerful than here. So if you sing from your throat, right, it might, you might be impressive at first, and everyone thinks you're so cool, and you're, you know, your veins are bulging, but no, that's not gonna be cool later. So, okay, so let's put that in your face. Can you go, ah, feel that buzzing right there? So I want you to drop your jaw. I don't want any of this, ah, right? See how that's going right there? Ah! Drop your jaw, lift your cheeks. Ah! Ha, ha. So what I'm going to do is, oh, I forgot to turn on the piano. What we're going to do is we're going to go, ah! So on the high note, I want you to squat. Because remember, we have to put the sound into our body. We cannot just be a vessel up here, okay? So on the high note, I want you to squat. I'm going to go, ah! Here we go. Ah, 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 ah. You see how I'm kind of making like a little cover over it? I know for some of you this might seem weird, like what is she talking about a cover? What I'm talking about is this. Ah, 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 ah. Do 
you hear that person? Ah, I'm not opening it up. Ah, I'm creating like this protective cover. Ah, so here we go. Let's do a squat. We're gonna go. Ah, You want to drop your jaw. Now see what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the sound go up my face, right? I'm going to let it travel up my face because it's like super important. In order to have sound, high notes, the high note hit your, um, be able to uh, hit high notes, you have to allow the sound to move up your face, right? So if I have a really closed face, if my face is closed, I will not be able to hit those high notes. So try, and as you do this, allow the sound to float up your face. So if I go, ah, that's fantastic. But if it starts to go, ah, start to do that, no, like we don't want that. So try keeping it forward in the face. Ah. So as we get higher, ah, see how I'm like placing it in the front of my face? Right? So then the next one, um, so that's a good thing you can do to go up the scale like that. And as you get higher, think about, you may or may not be able to hit those high notes right now, not that you need to, but ha, ha, So my voice is tired. I've been doing it for about 40 lessons a week right now, so my voice is tired. But see how I'm like smushing it into that dying cat sound? It's really ugly, I know. But what we're doing is we're building our belt voice. The belt is not pretty. So if any of you are like, this is supposed to be pretty, nah. -uh. <laughs> okay? So that's a good belt um, um, thing you can do after you've warmed up everything. But another one that I want to show you is something that I talked about this last week called the yawn yell. So I want you guys to do kind of a yawn. Do you ever yawn? You're just like, ah, what'd you have for dinner, mom, like pizza? Like, right, like, what, what'd you say? Like that, do you hear that? So see how I'm expanding into, I'm, oh, pretty, ah! See that? So in order to do a really healthy belt, there has to be an element of stretch in there. I have to stretch. If you're not loose, if you're not limber, it's gonna, you're gonna get hurt basically. So what we're doing is we're doing something called raising the soft palate. So everybody find their soft palate. Feel the roof of your mouth. That's your hard palate. Then go to the back where it's soft and gooey. That's your soft palate. You feel that? So when you yawn, oh, I'm so tired. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm a snob. Hello. See how open I am. So in order to get higher, we have to create more space, right? Either if I go here, oh, if I do that, I can raise it like that. Or if I go, ah, see how I'm also raising it? It's kind of opening like a balloon in the back. So I'm just, ah. So what we're going to do is do a yawn belt yell, the lightest yell. You must be able to do a really light yell. All good belting is is just a stretch. Hi, Ilana. Hi, Sue Ellen. Um, just stretching into it, and we're just going to, do a nice stretch. So back I go to the piano. <laughs> so we're gonna go like this. Put your hand on your chest and do a, hi, oh hi Shelly. We're gonna go ah, 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 ah. I know it sounds really funny. Ah, 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 ah. See how I'm yelling? But it's like very healthy, it's very light. If I go, so like, what's a song? Hmm. Like, let the storm rage on from Frozen. If I go, ha, ah, or if I go, ha, ah, see how like that's super easy on me. There's no, ah, any of that. Hi, Daniel. Um, so cool to have you guys watching live. So try that. So as we get high, ah, ah, What makes it so that I'm not hurting myself, yeah, Shelly says, chest voice, is that I'm stretching into it. Ah, and if your voice cracks, ah, great, fantastic, 
remember when you crack, it doesn't mean anything. It just means your body's trying to figure out where everything is going, right? So now as you get higher, I want to show you something called the rock star stance that I just made up last week, weeks ago. So you know how you see people singing on American Idol and just everywhere and they're, they're going like, right? Like that. So why do you think they're tipping their heads back like that? They're going, see how I'm tipping my head back? What they're doing is they are letting the sound ring behind their head. Right? It's actually ringing behind me. And Shelly, we talked about this today in our class. <laughs> One of my students is watching. So the sound is literally ringing behind them in a halo, and they're just and it's behind them and they are aiming, they're tipping their head back and they're letting it ring behind them. You are not pushing, you're not forcing, you are allowing. So this belt, just like the metaphor of the sword and the stone, who here has seen that movie? I always tell my students this. You know, King Arthur, everybody's trying to get the sword in the land and they're pulling and pulling and they've all decided it's gonna be so hard, but then this little boy comes and he just goes like, right? That's all you have to do with the sword and the stone, you just decide it's gonna be easy and you melt into it. That is the secret with belting, right? So if I go, so this is all gonna to come together right now. So if I, <laughs> I know this is a lot of talking, but watch all of this. So think about that. Now see how my arm is like, so this stands. Okay, so I'm tipping my head back, right? So that I can aim the sound behind me. And I know if you've never had lessons before, this might seem like a lot, but, It'll all come together with time for you if you take lessons. This is fun. Um, Shelly says, yes. So see how my arm is up in the air like this? Yes, for the mic, and it looks cool. But actually, it's to open my ribs up here, right? So I'm opening my ribs. I have my students a lot of the time go like this, act like they're holding a huge beach ball, right, like that. And what this does is this opens up your ribs, right? So you're opening the ribs, keeping them open. So what I'm doing here, keeping my ribs open, keeping the body open, you cannot hit those high notes. It's really hard if your body's closed. Even if your body's like this, it's so much easier to go like that. So when you go like this, the ribs open, I'm holding the mic, my head is back here to let the sound ring, and what I'm gonna do with this hand is catch it and stretch it. So let me find an example. Like if I do like Lady Gaga, like normal, I'm off the deep end, watch as I dive in. really healthy but if I go like this my ribs open my body open I'm catching the sound behind me I'm letting the sound wash over my head and into my hand to catch it ah, right so if I go ah, right so my voice is tired it's hard to show that right now hi Gabe but what I'm doing so if I do like I'll never meet the ground see I'm putting that right there I'm letting it go into my hand. I'm putting it right behind me. So let me know if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so as you do this, I'm gonna go back to where we were, but I want you to try getting to that position. We're gonna do a yawn yell. Keep going up this, this, the, um, the scales. We're gonna go, ha. So if I go, ha, <laughs> right? So my poor tired voice. <laughs> but see, I've been able to do 40 lessons a week with this technique. I'm not sore. My voice is just tired. And you know what? It's amazing. So I probably shouldn't be doing any more of these right now. But try this. Try just stretching into it. Shelly says, wow, never thought about that way. So helpful, Claire. Thank you. Literally just stretch into the note, and this is how you can grow your range too, right? So one of my amazing teachers, um, my first teacher, Mark Power, was so amazing. He taught me this thing called vocal fry, and a lot of teachers, half and half, some teachers say vocal fry is the worst thing you can do, and others say it's the best thing. I'm in the camp that it says, you know, the best thing. Vocal fry, all it is is go like this. Uh, do you ever just wake up in the morning and you're like, oh, I'm so tired. I don't want to get up. Mom, leave me alone. 
I want pizza. <laughs> or you're like, hey guys, what's up? Hey, oh, I'm okay, you know, I'm cool. <laughs> right? So see how I'm using my vocal fry to do that? Yeah. So all I'm doing is I'm giving my, my vocal cords a massage. It's really nice. Like this is a professional technique actually. Um, speech therapists, if you damage your voice, like actually damage your voice and have to go see someone, um, they will use this as a technique to rebuild the voice. Why this has gotten a bad rep is a lot of people, they misunderstand it. It's amazing. And they, a lot of people will go, uh, and they'll like, it's like, and they'll hurt themselves. And it's like, don't do that. We wanted, uh, we don't want, uh, Right, so that's the only reason um, a lot of people don't like it because people often misconstrue it and then they hurt themselves. So just do it like, uh, right? So now what we're gonna do to use vocal fry is stretch, and this is how you grow your range. So you could do it with anything. If I go, uh, so if I go. Uh, See if you crackle into it, if you crackle into it, crackling into it, ah, right? Like crackling into everything really helps. It's like greasing the engine, greasing everything. It'll help you ease into it with grace. So practice. Try vocal fry and just getting into the notes that way, and that's how you can grow your range as well. But just, again, practice every day. That's really important. And don't push yourself. Don't try and get higher notes and think that you can, you know, force yourself that way. Don't try and force it. It's not going to work if you force it, right? Nothing ever works if you force it. And again, if you guys have any questions or if you have any ideas of um, future videos that you'd like me to post, just put it down um, in the chat below. But you guys are doing so great. Really work on that rock star, rock star stance um, and work on that, ah, that thing. So like if I do like into the unknown, uh, from Frozen. Ah, see, I'm doing that. And so I, my brain is like bulging. I'm like, ah. <laughs> but isn't that cool? So I'm, that didn't even hurt. It felt great. I just yawned into it. Now, some people, they kind of try the yawn, but they're like, ah. no forcing, right? You are. And one last thing, I want you to try doing it. Remember how the body follows. What you do with your body matters. So if your body is like this, the voice will be tense, right? If you lead with an open body, then the voice will be open. So whatever you want your voice to do, make your voice do it. If I go, ah, see how I'm stretching into it? So try stretching physically with your body, stretch with your voice, with the yawn yells. All that is fantastic stuff, okay? So have fun practicing this. Let me know if you have any questions. Lots of love, and um, I will see you next time. All right, bye.